Hey everybody, this is Darius Darkshani with the Chaos Group. I'm here to show you a quick tutorial on how to output for a VR scene using Samsung Gear VR as the viewer. We have this wonderful architectural scene from the folks at Black House Design. And we'll be rendering out six cube maps for the Gear VR. Now we'll be doing this in stereoscopic as well. So in the end, you're going to be getting an output that looks like this. In my scene, I have a regular standard 3ds Max camera. This is not a V-Ray physical camera, but just a regular free camera. Looking at the room this way, and here's our view. Now the field of view doesn't really matter so much. 90 degree field of view, but the way we're going to set up the camera, the field of view and uh, the lens won't matter so much because it's going to be a proper pano. So I'm going to pop open our render setup here, and in our resolution, we're going to want to put in 1536 as the square size of our resolution. So our image aspect is going to be 1.0. Now since we're going to be rendering six, the front, left, right, up, down, and back, all side by side, we need to multiply the width by six to come up with 9216 by 1536. So our image aspect ratio is 6.0. Now of course make sure you have V-Ray assigned as your renderer, what we're going to do is we're going to create a stereoscopic helper under the V-Ray helpers. V-Ray stereoscopic, I'm just going to drop one in the scene here. Now in the modify panel, I'm going to make sure that the eye distance is set to 6.5 centimeters. You want to make sure your focus method is set to none. What this does is it keeps the eyes parallel to each other so they don't focus on a specific point in space. As far as the interocular method, leave it at shift both and we'll take a look at the panoramic pole merging. What this means is as you go from 60 degrees up to 90 degrees at the poles, top and the bottom, the stereoscopic effect will start to dwindle down. Leaving it at 60 is a good way to go. One key parameter to turn on is called adjust resolution. What this will do is double your horizontal resolution to count going from six panels to 12 panels with the left and the right eye. This way, you don't have to go into the render setup to adjust your width. That will stay at 9216, but with that option, adjust resolution turned on, it will double this and effectively give you an image that's at 18432, and of course it leaves the height at 1536. The next thing we need to do is set our camera in the renderer setup to be a cube 6x1 type. This will essentially shoot camera rays in all six directions. Next thing you're going to want to do is to turn off the image filter. With the image filter turned on, you may get some different edging that may create seams in your render. So go ahead and turn that off and you'll have seamless between your cube maps. And once you select your camera view and you start rendering, you'll see you've got a nice wide aspect that's going to give you 12 images side by side, a left six and right six over here, eventually giving you this super awesome rendering that you can put into your Samsung Gear VR. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great time with it. Wow.